And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're in Columbus, Ohio today at the Army Ohio State game, and I have a chance to talk to Brigadier General Bill Turner, who is with the 1st Infantry Division, uh, class of 86 at West Point, former Army quarterback, as we, we understand it. Uh, General Turner, good to see you today. What's it like being here? Sir, it's really a great experience. It's been outstanding. Had a chance to speak to some of the Ohio State ROTC cadets yesterday, and a great experience speaking to some of those young men and women that are interested in joining our Army. We were just talking with them. A couple of them ran a game ball 65 miles from Dayton and helped raise money for Colonel Shretzman. It was great to see. Tell us a little bit about uh, what were your days at uh, West Point like? <laughs> Sir, I think we, I had a great experience there. I think it really was an opportunity to instill a lot of discipline and standards and lend some organization to my life. And I, I had a great experience. Great people, tremendous people that I've maintained lifelong friendships with and, and have a lot of great respect for. And if you would just tell us about some of the steps along the path in your career in the great U.S. Army. Sir, I started out in the Army as a field artillery officer back in 1986 and had assignments kind of around the globe here. I started out over in Europe, over in Germany, and I've had stateside assignments in Fort Riley, Fort Sill, Fort Hood, as well as over in Hawaii. So I've had an opportunity to serve in light and heavy formations, divisions, and I just had a great experience working with our soldiers out there. And tell us if you would about the 1st Infantry Division, uh, one of the Army's major units. Uh, just tell, about, tell us a little bit about, about it. Well, sir, I'm, I'm a proud member of the Big Red One, of, the, of our Army's 1st Division. Actually, this year we're celebrating our 100-year anniversary from back in 1917, June 1917, when it first stood up. And we just finished celebrating and commemorating uh, that 100 years and reflecting back on many of the soldiers and leaders that have, have served in that division. And it's just been a, a tremendous experience. Here recently, we just returned from a deployment in Iraq. We've also had some of our brigade combat teams that have returned from Korea. We have one that just recently is now is deployed to Europe. Europe. And then we had our, our combat aviation brigade that just returned from Afghanistan. So we've had a, a great deal of experience here in the 1st Infantry Division and been on point for our nation. It must be great. You must have so many great soldiers, NCOs, officers in a unit. At, uh, to, what is it like for you just to be a leader in an organization like that? Uh, sir, it's been a great honor and privilege. And, you know, since my days back at West Point and being able to be part of the Army football team and to learn that team experience and working together to go out and achieve objectives, to achieve mission accomplishment, it's just been so fulfilling. It's been a great experience and very proud of that. Very good, and sir. Uh, just, it must be fun. Uh, the Army football team had a great season last year, beat Navy 2-0 and on the season, going to play in front of 100,000 people this afternoon. What is it like uh, for you uh, watching this, uh, this uh, very good Army football team? Yes, sir. I've been very excited. I've been tracking them through my 31 years here. I've been in the Army and enjoyed all the time, you know, through thick and thin. It's great to see them enjoying so much success. We followed them in Iraq last year while we were deployed and seeing that great success over Navy. And then to be out here, sir, it's been a tremendous opportunity, I think, and uh, looking forward to a great game today. Well, that's what we do on our, on our page, West Point Football Report. We just hope a couple of folks overseas get to see our game reports and uh, we can bring Army football to them. Brigadier General B Bill Turner from the 1st Infantry Division, thank you for your service to our country from all of us at the American Legion. Thank you very much, sir. It's been an honor and beat Ohio State. <laughs> Absolutely. It's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the Army Ohio State Game in Columbus, Ohio.